well, while I was up in the big smoke uh, in Brizzy, uh, I got the opportunity to get to a decent chandlery and do some shopping. Um, what I'm doing now is um, going to put a couple of cleats on the front part of the boat. These are the cleats I purchased. Um, they're quite expensive, the stainless steel ones. I could have bought cheaper, but I thought, nah. And I'm going to mount them there, like that. And what that is for is so that this rope snubber that goes around the winch now, I'm not real happy about that being on the winch. It's a bit of load on that. Pretty big shaft on that winch, and it's pretty solid, but I think just putting the weight of uh, the boat on it when you're anchored, it's probably a good idea not to put it on something that's, uh, that's moving. So I'm going to put two cleats in here and uh, I've bought some nylon rope. I'm going to make up a new snubber. I'll splice a couple of eyes in that and those, um, that snubber will then go over these cleats and down to the anchor with the hook on the end. So I'll have a new way of attaching my snubber. So I've got to drill a few holes and uh, poke a few, few uh, screws through, but all very doable. There is a fair bit of load on them, so that was worth doing. So now we've got the load uh, completely off the winch. All I'm going to do now is uh, make up another snubber. Okay, so the kit cleats are installed up the front there. All I need is a, a bit of a different snubber to hold onto the chain. So. I've just bought myself a bit of nylon rope. I always use nylon because it's very stretchy. It stretches about uh, 30 or 40% nylon rope. So um, if you're making snubbers, 
Uh, make them out of nylon because um, it gives you a bit of a shock absorber on the um, on the snubber. So a bit of nylon rope. I'm using 14 mil, and I'm just um, going to separate the uh, separate the strands of this rope, and then splice an eye in the end of each end of it. So plan is to splice an eye there. That'll go over the that'll go over the uh, cleat. I'll do a nice little splice in there. I'll do the same on the other end of the rope. I've got it marked out. So um, same on there. And in the, where the rope that'll come up each side, and then where the rope joins, um, I've got this hook to go on. That'll go over the rope, and then I'll put a nice little bit of whipping around there to hold it in place. So. That's the job for the afternoon. When you get the splice um, started properly, it's pretty hard to go wrong. An old skill to keep sailors busy when there's nothing else to do. If you tie a knot in a rope, you weaken it by about 50%. You splice it, you don't lose much strength um, in that eye, so that's why it's always a good, good way to uh, make a loop in your rope instead of tying a bowline. Um, do a splice and you get a lot stronger, uh, a lot stronger attach point. That'll come up really well. The other end to do, and uh, a bit of whipping down around the hook, and we've got ourselves a new snubber. I just finished that slice splice by sliding a bit of uh, plastic tube over it. That'll um, work on the chafe point so it won't chafe the rope. And I've just tied it in there so that that tube doesn't um, slide out. So that should be good for both ends of the snubber. What I'm going to do now is just whip that hook uh, into the loop in the rope. So, another little skill you could learn. Oops. Whipped them to the end. We've got ourselves a new snubber. Let's go and try it out. Well, that's going to work uh, pretty well. That snubber uh, is protected by these pieces of hose on the rub points, so we won't get any chafe there. And all the weight's taken off the chain gypsy, there's no weight there. The weight of the anchor is just transferred up onto these cleats. Beautiful. <laughs>